One of the most beautiful parts of Shabbat is the blessing of the children, which we generally do after we light the candles and when we're gathered around the table. We take just a minute to offer a magnificent blessing to our children, who, of course, are our future and the future of the Jewish people. And we do that by citing two different parts of the Torah. We, qu we quote the words of Jacob when he was in Egypt being reunited with his uh, sons, and he took his sons' sons, that is his grandchildren, and he blessed them with words that we carry on to this day. And then we also bless, uh, we also bless our children with the words that the high priest Aaron, that is Moses' brother, used to use to bless all of the children of Israel. And Akiva and Amanda Leader are going to show us how this, they do the blessing in their family. Yesimcha Elohim ke'efrayim v'chomenasha. Beautiful. And Amanda was sharing with me earlier that um, she's seen this done where the children, when they're a little bit older and they're able to do this, that the children will say Kenya Hiratzon back to the parent who's yeah. blessing him, which is beautiful. Kenya Hiratzon means basically may it be. God's will. I'm going to repeat to make sure that the Hebrew is clear. So when you are blessing boys, you say Yesimcha Elohim Ka'afraim Ka'manashe, which means may God bless you like Ephraim and Manashe. And then for daughters, you would say, and I don't have daughters, so I don't know this as well, Yesimech Elohim Kasara Rivka Rachel Valea, which means may God bless you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And then after you do that, then you say the priestly blessing, which is Yivarechacha Adonai V'yishmarecha, which means may God bless you and keep you. Ye'er Adonai Panave Lecha V'chuneka, may God's light shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai Panave Lecha V'yisem Lecha Shalom, may God lift up God's face to you and bless you with peace. Thanks.